My name is Natalie Younglai. I did the Humber TV writing and producing program in 2006, and I'm currently a writer, producer, director, and I'm also the founder of BIPOC TV and Film. I was looking for something that could kind of match, um, you know, creativity plus writing, which I love to do. So I was looking really for programs that could bring me into the television world, but that were holistic, that had a little bit of TV uh, writing, that had a little bit of producing, that didn't force me to decide right away because I, I didn't really know anything about the industry. My key takeaway from Humber was really about, um, you know, you're learning in an environment with people who are going to become your professional cohort later on. My first job after graduating from Humber was on this reality show or lifestyle show called Put That Do Us Part. I think I started within a month of graduating. I was, I was really fortunate. And then I quickly moved up to researching, story producing. I, I loved being on set and, and the crew. And a few years later, I, I had a chance to direct on the same show. And that's, that's how I kind of became a director. Then I went to Top Chef Canada and that was tons of fun. I was field director. I had no idea how a show like that was even put together. So it was like a huge learning experience. It took a number of years, but I got my first scripted script uh, on an animation show called Rescue Griffiths. And I went from that to Dino Dana, which I was also writing on. I got a nominated for <laughs> a couple awards from it, uh, which was pretty stunning. Uh, I got a chance to go to the Emmys with my parents. <laughs> um, I also worked as a writer on 16 Hudson, which is an amazing, a really sweet preschool show. And I love it because it was so representative uh, it was so diverse. I also had a chance to work on Bellevue, which was on CBC. That was my first scripted job in drama. That helped to lead me to getting onto Coroner. That was life-changing for me. I started BIPOC TV and Film in 2012. It really came about because I felt really isolated in the industry being Asian. If I felt like that, others would feel the same way. And I, I wanted a chance to connect and to kind of share resources, uh, share insights with each other. And the idea was that if we can build a community, then as, as we keep rising, you know, we help others uh, along with us. I received the Academy of Canadian Cinema and Television's 2020 Humanitarian Award. I was actually really surprised when I got the notice. I just didn't even think that that what I was doing would get that kind of recognition. It made me realize how important the work is that I do outside of my like paid career work. I do a lot of mentoring. I think of it as wanting to change the industry so that people don't face the same barriers that I did when I started out. And I want to make sure that the industry is welcoming. I want to make sure that the industry recognizes that there are talented people who are queer, who are Black, who are Indigenous, who are people of color, who are women, who deserve not just to have a chance as a PA, but have a chance as showrunners, have a chance as creators, have a chance in the decision-making positions. In order to have a long career in this industry, it's, it's a combination of being able to do the work, working hard, but also building your reputation and, and your relationships. I think it's really important to be authentic, genuine and kind, but also to be an advocate for other people because you will also want people to advocate for you and you will also want people to cheer for your success. I'm Natalie Younglai and I'm a proud Humber grad.